This is Sean Wotherspoon. We're at Round 2 Chicago with Modern Notoriety. Thank you guys for rolling by. Walk in the front door, and this is probably our biggest space off the bat. Like you kind of, you walk in the door, it's got the high ceilings, it's super wide. It just feels really good, you know? Lost in my ways, I'm guilty. But I can't help myself when a girl with nerve really wanna come feel me. I got the remedy full of supplies. It what you need, I'ma give it with pride. No, it's my chemicals all in my brain. But when I'm with you, I can see through the pain. Right on the side, we were kind of proud of because it's like, you know, things like damn near 25 yards of just straight up miscellaneous streetwear, Supreme, V Lone, Off White, Babe. Um, yeah, I know it's kind of cool. We were excited to put this whole one together because usually we have it in small sections. And so to have like one big line where someone can just start at the front and take like 40 minutes and just like go through each piece. And by the end of the rack, you've like went through the entire streetwear community of recent day, you know, so it's kind of nuts. We've kind of like found a standard for ourselves as far as, um, you know, doing like the reclaimed like kind of barn wood on the walls how we do our shelving, how we do our rack style. So we just kind of take that pattern and fitted it to this space. So we brought back our slat wall, which is what you see in like, you know, that was what you saw in sneaker stores back in the day. Like you'd sit on the bench in front of it, boom, slat walls in front of you and you just got the kicks on there. This is like a new display thing we've been doing uh, since I think the Hollywood store we started it in, either Hollywood or maybe the New York store. But we hang these lines across, this, across our entire space and it kind of holds like the heat. And this was something new for us as well doing like the wallpaper stuff. We have a bunch of like environmental gear we did and then we also worked on some insect and some bug items that are gonna be dropping soon, but we thought we'd bring the theme here. This side you got kind of like the newer stuff that's been coming out, minus some crazy old SBs, Freddy's, Zoos, What the Dunks, Papa Bears, Uncles. Yo, this wall I'm fucking hyped on. Books. So these magazines won't even be here. We'll have like kind of like a vintage little selection of books or magazines, things like that. Like you could picture maybe like a, an art book, maybe like some Keith Haring book next to like a, maybe some like Japanese sneaker encyclopedia or something like that. We just thought it'd be cool, you know? We're kind of feeling like the customer now is, like we've always looked at ourselves and been like, okay, who are we trying to, you know, who are we trying to win over? And we figured, you know, we're the best representation of who shops here. And so we started to realize that it's like so much more than sneakers and clothes. And so we feel like stores like us need to offer that like next kind of elevation of everything we're into. Because we talk to a lot of people now they are into like, everyone wants home goods or things for their apartment or some kind of like decor or like, like I was saying, like just a book to put on your coffee table. And we're starting to just understand that it's, people are like, yeah, we love the shoes, we love the clothes, but everyone's like looking for that next thing. Like the bare bricks always sell really well for us. Everyone loves like having these in the house. I mean, Cause has been doing a bunch of plush toys. And I think if you kind of look at it, it's, I never really noticed it until we just now are talking about it, but there's so many more like uh, obscure collaborations going on. Like so many people are doing like toys or like a Modernica chair collab or like a couch or, you know, this or that. I don't even know. Cause did those light bulbs back in the day that were pretty sick. So this is the, uh, this is the hallway to vintage up here. Our second floor, our only store with the second floor, so it's kind of dope. Pretty Welcome to the vintage store. We have all the racks on this side, it's all organized. Uh, we go from like Mickey Mouse, Disney, cartoon, animation type stuff, straight into sportswear, Nike, more Midwest teams, East Coast teams, like anything that could be sporty. And then it goes into TV, movie, and film, our favorite category. It's the best. Like. I know you're thinking in your heads right now, you're like, oh, like this movie, that movie, this show, that show. You know what we really want is an Even Stevens t-shirt or a Seventh Heaven, like original, you know? Never find them, it's sick, but. This is where you'll find that kind of dope stuff. Let me try to pull a cool one out for you. Oh, this one's sick. Wizard of Oz. There's always like, man, yo, like this is the best rack. Dudley do right, you know? Nutty Professor the Clumps. Come on. So yeah, we put the whole thing together like that. Everything's got its own section. This is like Polo, Guess, Tommy, 
um, we've been kind of collecting all this stuff for the last year or more. You know, like I'll be sitting in LA putting together a little, you know, a little box of stuff every day. And now we got like a whole store school. It's pretty sweet. This is all music, um, Harley Davidson, cigarette tees, beer shirts. This is all the crazy, crazy up here. All the real nuts shit. Or the rap style and bootleg tees have been like mad popping for the past few years. I mean, it's always been a cool item to have, but the past like handful of years, I don't know, they've really popped. So, got our Grateful Dead section. Pretty much everything. Keith Haring, Kira. Mosquito head shirts from the 80s and 90s. Outerwear. Kind of hit it all. But yeah, that's vintage store, you know? Like I said, it's more or less pretty straightforward space. Easy to shop. Easy to find. <laughs> but, yeah, you gotta come check it out to really see what it's all about. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah. You know that my past stay rigid. I need your love. I take your love every time you want to give it. Uh-huh, okay. No lies in the life I'm living. They claim it's love. They say it's love every time they know it isn't. We kind of look at social media at this point. We like see where people are like commenting, like, "Oh, we need a store here. We need a store there." Uh, we look at like the YouTube channel, like where our show is uh, typically posted, and we see like where people are requesting stores. And then just also, we spend a lot of time in the stores ourselves. So we're typically like, you know, Chris would usually be in. Previous to this, he was in like the South Beach store a lot. Luke's in the New York store. I'm in LA. Uh, our like manager and VA is always like you know relaying things to us, but we just hear what people are talking about They're like yo I'm here from I'm here from Chicago. We need a store so bad, you know, like yeah. et cetera, et cetera. And just from hearing that for like years we're like, okay Chicago's gotta be next like only makes sense, you know, so yeah. and, and geographically it makes sense because we kind of have like stores on both the coasts, So it's nice to have something in the middle now yeah. that kind of just like finally unifies it all We're not like so far away from each other kind of just like creates one band across It's which getting is nice. easier for people yeah. to access us. Yeah. which is kind of cool I uh, I also think you know Chicago is like one of the few cities that has like a very strong Culture into like what we super, do yeah. so like we're super happy to come here and like kind of tap into that and like give that some shine Normally we move to a city, we open up a, a main round two store where we do like the streetwear, sneakers and stuff like that. And then we realize after like three months, we're like, oh shit, we're out of space. We need more room. We want to do a vintage store here. We want this, we want that. And so here we kind of just uh, try to go for everything at once. So we didn't have to then try and find a place within a block two years later or a year later to try and put more stuff. So here we kind of just try to do everything in one and have all of our concepts in one place. And so we kind of needed this space in order to fulfill that as far as like backstock plus you know, shopping area. We wanted to come hard too. Yeah. We kind of felt like, I don't know, in a lot of the cities we've already, we've opened in, there's stores similar to ours and we feel like Chicago, there is a few, but there's not as many. So we kind of wanted to like give them the best we could instead of kind of coming like halfway and working up to the best. So we kind of were like, you know what, let's just go to, go to Chicago like as strong as possible. I'm excited to see people dig out their closets, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's what's the that's craziest a, shit. Like, part. sitting in here for the first couple of weeks just behind the buying counter and just seeing what people bring in is nuts, honestly. Like, it's, like it's the, the best part yeah, of the Yeah, yeah. And a city like this rich in history, it's like you have no idea. You just have no idea. I mean, we were going through the product last night. Like, we have so much bull stuff downstairs. I think so it's much like the like, biggest collection of bullshit yeah, I've ever seen. Because even one like place in together. the New York and LA store, we have large sections of like city specific stuff, but yeah. we have like. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bulls. There bears, might be a thousand. Socks, there might be a thousand yeah. pieces. So yeah, like, there there's just so much pieces. like sports heritage and history here, yeah. um, especially from the era that we're tapping into. It really is. It's like this was like where the Jordan era, like really flourished. You know what I mean? I feel like there was a lot of stuff that was going on in the 80s, 90s. That's is why our world even exists for us to be able to sell vintage and stuff. And so to be here and kind of like the birthplace of it, it's pretty sick, honestly.